How, how long ago did you first think of Moby Dick as a picture? Oh, Ed, about 20, 25 years ago. 25 years ago? That's an awfully long time to cling to one idea. Well, it's a very great novel, as you know. Um, it's a, an adventure story that lends itself wonderfully to picture making. Um, it's an adventure of, of the spirit as well as of the flesh. Uh, Somerset Maugham picks it as one of the ten greatest novels of all time. The greatest American novel. Well, then why did it take you so long to make it? I'd originally planned to do it with my father. The great Walter Houston. Um, and uh, when he died, why? That put the kaitus to it. Mm -hmm. Well, then why did you come back to it now? Gregory Peck. Listen, of all of the interesting things you've contributed to motion pictures, I think that your perception and visualizing Gregory Peck, the romantic player, as Ahab, is certainly the, the most thrilling. Well, Greg's talent and sort of a scale that's in proportion to that of the novel. Mm -hmm. Don't tell him I said that. Won't say a word. Um, Greg, uh, I've got to see a man about a whale. <laughs> Greg, how are you? How are you? Fine. I was just discussing asking John some questions. I'm going to ask you some questions. How did you come to uh, decide to play Ahab? John Houston threatened to shoot me if I didn't. Oh, I see. But I had played uh, years ago at the University of California in a little theater production of Moby Dick. And it was a very good play, too. Very good production. Maybe I should tell you all about it. No, 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 no. T to tell me, how did you and John get together? The big star, the big producer, the flashlights were booming, and that's the way the contract signed? Well, not quite like that. I met John at a party in London a year and a half ago. Nothing had been discussed previously, and John suddenly said, Greg, how'd you like to do Ahab and Moby Dick? So we shook hands on it, and that was the end of the formalities. No flashlights. <laughs> about eight months later, I was in Salon, shooting a film called The Purple Plain, in the middle of the jungle. And the mailman rode up on his bicycle and handed me the completed screenplay on Moby Dick, which John had sent on from Ireland. And when I read it, I knew that John Houston was going to put the real Moby Dick on the screen. 